Thanks for checking out my micro drawings channel. Hope you like this Kelvin and Hobbes micro drawing. I thought I'd show you my setup. This is my XL Bristol 100 weight smooth Canson acid free paper. That's my phone holder for my videoing. There's my Ot light to give good clear color, piece of scrap paper to test out colors on, my Copic sketch markers, and then my Copic multi liner and a regular pencil for scale here. There's that Copic Multiliner 0.03. It's waterproof and it's Copic proof. So it's not going to smudge when I add the color to the picture here at all. So in getting started here, I'm starting with Hobbs' nose. And from there, I'm building up around his head and uh, trying to keep it as tiny as possible and kind of referencing back to that nose. No, it was rainy where I was all day today, so it made me think of, uh, or well, the umbrella caught my eye in this scene, so that's why I thought I'd go with that for the drawing here. And I'm always looking for lines, and what I'm seeing for lines is like the curve of his stomach, the top and bottom uh, lines, you know, almost parallel of his arm stretched out. Um, this is his other hand, it's kind of bent back. Uh, his elbow there I'm putting in, but it's it's always lines that I'm looking for, whether it's uh, the curved arc of a back, uh, the straight line of, you know, the top of the wagon, bottom of the wagon, that'll be coming up here. So I'll let you watch me draw for a while. If you haven't subscribed, please do, and please share with others. Appreciate the support.
Okay, so I've got my black outline drawing done. Here's a quarter for scale. You can see it covers up the whole scene. So I just wanted to show how small that is, and you can see my fingertip there too of my pointer finger. There's the Cotton Pearl Copic sketch marker that I'm using for Kelvin's skin tone. And I'll just lightly uh, touch that in there. There are two ends to the Copic sketch markers. There's the fine tip end that I use, and then there's the broad chisel end that I do not use. Here's a cool gray, number three. That is for the umbrella. Every once in a while, I need to rotate the paper to, to work with that fine tip to um, draw it towards me a little bit or to push up into it. There's the cadmium yellow. That is Kelvin's hair. So again, just lightly touching into there. And I did let all the uh, Copic Multiliner 003 black dry before I started using these colors. That was the chrome orange. That works well for Hobbs's orange color. And again, I let these stripes all dry so they're not uh, running or smudging at all. And they're supposed to be, um, the Copic Multiliner is water and Copic proof, but you know if it's thick enough and it leaves a little puddle, it's going to smudge. But I let it dry so there shouldn't be any issues with that. And soon I'm moving on to well here I, I saw that I had a little shadow of the umbrella that I need to, needed to fix so I went in with the multi-liner again as there there's the red for Kelvin's shirt and it will be the red on the wagon my understanding is uh, Bill Watterson the creator of Kelvin and Hobbes really liked uh, peanuts or Snoopy's Charlie Brown uh, cartoons and uh, he, he used that red striped shirt for Calvin. I actually came from the red striped shirt that Linus would often wear in the Peanuts comic strip. So I thought that was kind of an interesting piece of trivia. So there I'm uh, rotating the paper so that I can work that red right up to the edge. And I did use that red for the uh, tires inside of those and the, the little red inside um, circle of Calvin's roller skates that he's got on too. There's the pink for Calvin's tongue. And close to finish here, there's a quarter for scale. And today's date, September 3rd of 2021 in my initials. Again, thanks for watching. Have a great day. Please check out the rest of my drawings in the playlist.